Yeah, and that's what they're learning here this week at the Safe Schools Conference. You know, as you can imagine, when you get more than 800 school officials, principals, counselors, school resource officers together here in one place, the news of that incident in Gadsden spread pretty quickly. And everyone here saying that this is a good example of the important role school resource officers play in keeping our kids safe. Now, at par as part of the conference today, they had an active shooter simulation experience. Now, it was aimed really at the participants who are not school resource officers. So principals, counselors, and teachers got to take on the role of an SRO and work through two different active shooter scenarios. It was pretty intense. You're sitting in a classroom and someone comes in. Do you barricade the door? Do you throw things at them? Do you do this? Do you do, do you try to go out the window? There's so many different avenues. It's very difficult to teach because remember the situation's fluid. Now everyone participating in that scenario were firing blanks, but you could still see that it was pretty intense and it really got their heart rate out. This happened at nearby Gulf Shores High School, and they say that's the point to show you the stress that these SRO, SROs are facing when they get into these situations that can very easily turn deadly as it did today in Gadsden. Now, Last month's school shooting in Uvalde, Texas, also fresh on everyone's mind here this week. Today, Texas lawmakers started their investigation into the tragedy, promising answers and action as the national debate over gun reform continues. Now, they're trying to find out how this happened to try to keep it from happening again. We have a duty to do what we can because our children's, our children's lives are on the line. A testimony is going to be an executive session that we're not going to be able to see that and we don't even expect to know who is there speaking. Also today, the school superintendent announced that students will not return to Robb Elementary School. They will, in fact, go back to class at another school. He also said they are very closely examining security at every school in their district. Live in Orange Beach, Lisa Crane, WVTM 13.